Welcome to this M1 video on forces as vectors. So we can write forces using the vector notation with I and J, or we can write them, you know, as a column vector. So for example, you know, AI plus BJ in Newtons, or that would be as a column vector a b in newtons now obviously when we think of an object being in equilibrium now rather than the forces equal to each other if it's in equilibrium the forces will total zero so we'd have zero i plus zero j if in equilibrium Okay, so the same kind of thinking as the last video, but just slightly different in terms of instead of making them equal, they should total zero. Okay, but other than that, this is very straightforward. Okay, much like the last video, it'll be a nice short video just getting you into using the vectors as forces. You'll see right throughout M1, we do use vectors um, quite a lot. So I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the first example. So here I have the forces 3i plus j, 5i minus 2j, and a plus bj, and they act on an object. Given that the object is in equilibrium, find the values of a and b so that means that if i total them up so 3i plus j plus 5i minus 2j plus a i plus b j that must total zero or collecting the i's together i got three plus 5 plus a and the b's I've got minus uh, sorry I've got 1 minus 2 plus b and that's the j's okay so that means that 8 plus a must equal 0 and minus 1 plus b must equal 0 so that means A equals minus 8 and B equals positive 1. And that will be the values of that third force here. And that's what makes it equal to 0. So nice, straightforward, okay? Slightly different way of resolving the forces. So we're not looking, we're looking for a resultant of 0 this time, okay? If they're acting in equilibrium. Now, second example, this is based on a past paper question. And we have the a particle is acted upon by two forces, F1 and F2. And we're told that F1 is 5i minus 2j and F2 is 2ai plus aj. So first step is to find the angle between F2 and i. So if you think of F2 will be, you know, something like that, it's 2AI across plus A up, it's positive. So that's F2. And then I is the horizontal vector like so. And we want theta. Now, if I make that a little bit bigger, we've got 2a going across and a going up so tan theta is opposite over adjacent now the a's will cancel so that is tan theta equals a half so theta equals 26.6 degrees okay and that is part A done. Now, part B, the resultant of F1 and F2 is R. 
So that is the resultant of those two vectors. And we've got to be, oh, given that r is parallel to 3i plus 2j, find the value of a. So if it's parallel, it's going to have the same angle. So if I find the angle of r, then it will equal the angle of the 3i plus 2j. So what I mean by that is, let's first find r. So r is that resultant. So it's going to be 5 plus 2ai plus a minus 2j. So that is the resultant uh, force there. Now the angle that makes with, you know, I, we'll call this theta, theta of R, is going to be going across to be 5 plus 2A and A minus 2. So tan theta R is opposite A minus 2 over 5 plus 2A. Now, because it's parallel, it's going to be parallel to 3i plus 2j, which means that this value of theta here, 3 and 2, is going to be the same. Okay, so the two thetas are the same. So I don't know what I'll call that. I'll call that a p. So theta r as equal to that theta p therefore a minus 2 over 5 plus 2 a is equal to the 2 thirds so that means 3 times a minus 2 is equal to the 2 and that's 5 plus 2 a isn't it so 3a minus 6, 10 plus 4a minus 16. So a is equal to minus 16. Okay, hopefully you are able to follow that and it makes sense. But if it's parallel... It's going to be going at the same direction. So I took the angle from the horizontal. Equally, you could have done this by taking the angle from the vertical. Um, but obviously, I, I think it's a little bit easier taking it from the, the horizontal value there. Okay, so that is the two examples. Um, just give you three questions to have a go at and as always i'll put the answers at the end uh, just before the questions come up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe hit the like button if you find in this video useful and hit that join button if you're willing and able to help me out a little otherwise let's look at the questions so here they are, three questions. Question two is like that last example that I just did. That is the actual uh, past exam question. Question three is also a past exam question. And question one is just one I made up just to, to get you warmed up and into this. So pause the video now. Right, welcome back. Hopefully you've had time to do these three questions. Let's look at the answers. So the three forces, 8i plus 3j and 5i minus 6j and a plus bj, sorry, ai plus bj are in equilibrium so that totals zero so therefore eight plus five plus a equals zero 
and 3 minus 6 plus b equals 0. So a is equal to minus 13, and b is equal to plus 3. Okay, nice, straightforward. Let's look at the next question. Okay, I won't explain this too much as we've done an example on it. So let's just jump straight in. F2, we want the angle it makes with I. So it's going to be this horizontal angle here. And it's A across and 2A up. So tan theta is 2A over A. The A's will cancel. So tan theta equals 2. Uh, so the inverse tan of 2 is 63.4 degrees. Now moving on to B. The resultant R is F1 and F2. So the resultant of those two. So that is 3 plus a i plus 2a minus 2j. And this is parallel to 13 plus 10j. So this one here, which is... 3 plus a and 2a minus 2 is the same value of theta when I've got 13 and 10. Okay, so this means that they're the same. The theta is the same. So 2a minus 2 over 3 plus a is equal to 10 over 13. So that's 13. Oh, I'll do it in one go this time. So 13 times 2a will be 26a minus 26 equals 30 plus 10a. So taking away 10a gives me 16a on the left equals 56. And dividing by 16, we get a is equal to 3.5. Okay, and that is part B done. Okay, part A is there in equilibrium find a and b so we've got minus 7 minus 4 plus 4 2 plus a b is equal to 0 so minus 7 and 4 is minus 3 so a minus 3 equals 0 and minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 so b minus 2 equals 0 so A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 2. So that is just part A done nice and easy. Part B, F1 is now removed. The resultant is R. Find the magnitude of R. And then the angle R makes with I to the nearest degree. So we've now got 4, 2, and 3, 2. So the resultant of this is 7, 4. Okay, now that obviously makes sense because these were in equilibrium. If I take this one away, what I'm actually left with, the resultant of this is the opposite of this force. Okay, so that's 7, 4. We need to find the magnitude of that. So if you think about it, it's 7, 4 like that. And the magnitude of R is just using Pythagoras. So the magnitude of R is 
4 squared plus 7 squared and square rooted. And that square root is 65. Or if you've done it to decimals, 8.1 newtons to two significant figures there. And that's, you know, part one. Let's look at part two. The angle R makes to the nearest degree oh, with I. So this is R. We call that theta. It's seven across at four up. So tan theta is four over seven. And then shift tan or the inverse of tan to find your theta. And we've got 29.7. We want it to the nearest degree. So 30 degrees to nearest degree. And this is, you know, above the horizontal. And that is it, the end of another video. Uh, unless you're watching this on the first day it comes out, stay tuned because the next video will be there to click on from your screen now.